Hey guys, today in Kiwana's Kitchen, I'm going to show you all a quick and easy meal that you can make for your family in under 30 minutes, and that is beef stroganoff. So, let's go. Alright guys, to make our delicious beef stroganoff, I added some olive oil into my electric skillet here, one pound of ground beef, one small sweet Vidalia onion that I did chop, one tablespoon of minced garlic and some seasonings, and then we're going to give that a good mix and just let the ground beef brown a little bit, okay, before we start to go in with our other ingredients. So once I reach that brownness that I'm looking for, I'm going to add in my mushrooms, and now a lot of people don't really care for mushrooms. Me, myself, personally, I love mushrooms, fried, regular, whatever. I love them. But again, if you don't want to add these in here, you don't have to. But um, beef stroganoff usually calls for them. But again, it's up to you. So we're going to go ahead and just let our ground beef completely brown, looking just like this right here. So now you want to get the oil out. Now, as opposed to me unplugging the skillet, trying to tilt it to get the oil out and all that, I'm going to go in with some paper towels. And this is just an easy way for me to get that oil out, but not all of it, because I don't want my ground beef to get dry. So I did leave a little bit in there. So now I'm adding in four cups of water, a little bit of Worcestershire sauce, and then I'm going to go in with one beef Lipton beef soup packet. Um, one tablespoon of beef base because I love that deep or strong beef flavor if that makes sense so we're gonna go ahead and get that in there and then I'm gonna go in with one tablespoon of Dijon mustard and one and a half cups of milk and then we're gonna give that a good mix and let it come to a boil because we want to make sure it's the water that liquid is hot enough before you go in with your noodles okay you don't want your noodles clumping together so you want to bring that to a boil I'm telling you guys this meal turned out perfect it's the easiest 30 minute meal that you can put together for your family on any busy weekday weeknight weekend whatever it's perfect so now I'm adding in my pasta now I ran out of egg noodles because I made chicken noodle soup a couple weeks back and I used the last bag that I had so I'm using rigatoni pasta but again you can use what you want if you don't have egg noodles um, just get some form of pasta in there okay so once your pasta is cooked looking just like this here, we're going to go in with our sour cream and I'm adding in four ounces of cream cheese, okay? Because again, we are making beef stroganoff and this right here is definitely going to bring out that flavor in your dish. So we're going to give that a good mix and then you want to turn your eye off guys and just let it sit because the pasta is pretty much done but that right there by you adding in the sour cream and the cream cheese it's going to thicken it up okay so i did add in a little salt and pepper for added flavor and just covered it and let it sit about another five or ten minutes and this right here is what we got guys the easiest 30 minute meal that you can put together for your family so um, yeah, I served this with a side vegetable and I made some dinner rolls. And that is pretty much it for this video of me showing you of how to make beef stroganoff. If you enjoyed my video, please give my video a thumbs up. And until next time, later.